My mother Nancy has fallen for an online love scam. We were actually supposed to meet with Dr. Phil last year, but at the last minute, Nancy decided that she didn't want to do it. I gave my mother an ultimatum. It was either for her to speak with Dr. Phil or I was done speaking to her. She didn't change her mind about it, so Lindsay and I have had to cut her off. My mother chose Sean over me. In my eyes, my mother is dead to me. When it comes to her soulmate, Sean Carter, Nancy says it's none of her family's business. Sean's still stuck in Dubai because he does not have the 20 grand to pay the taxes. They've really helped Sean out a lot. I do this because I love him. The last time I spoke to Sean was a couple days ago, and I can't tell you about it because it was kind of dirty. <laughs> My son thinks that Sean is a scammer, a fraud, and a phony. What I want to talk to Dr. Phil about is to fix my relationship with my son. I don't like this family being fragmented at all. And I want your relationship with your son to close ranks. He's frustrated because he thinks you're being scammed. But he doesn't have to uh, not be in touch with me. Couldn't agree more. These are some of the text messages that I get from Sean. You're a beautiful and sexy girl and you know it. So why are you trying to hide it? Missing you so much, sexy, hot girl. You've actually never seen him on a live feed. No, I haven't. A and you've never met Sean? No, because when I met him online, he had to go to Dubai within like a week. And then when he gets over there, he needs money to get back. That was a red flag to me. I've done a lot of investigations into these love scams. And there's a pattern. I actually put together a graphic that shows what some of the consistent patterns are. So I went through your story about Sean and I checked off the things that fit in your story. Widowed, no face-to-face, -face, poor grammar, had to leave immediately. In construction, stuck in a foreign country until taxes are paid. He couldn't show you his real pictures because of his security clearance. Right. Is he like 007 or something? Well, you got the CIA in the state, right? Right. We've got it too in Canada. So you think he may be an agent? Yes. He attended the University of Florida, right? Mm -hmm. No, he did not. That's a lie. It was just made up. We've spoken to the registrar. We've gone all the way back. We went 10 years before, 10 years after. So. What about San Diego? I just found something out. Well, we'll have that checked while I'm speaking. There is no Sean with that date of birth in the entire country of Canada. Everything he's told you is a lie. His phone number is a fiction. It doesn't belong to him. His pictures don't belong to him. We checked to see if he had visas there to work. He does not. I don't believe it. I just believe that he's, he's for real. My question is, are you delusional? Do you have a mental illness? If you believe this man is a fraud, raise your hand. 100% of the people recognize clearly that this is a fraud, except for you. And you don't even blink. You're not giving him a chance to prove himself. He's had every chance to prove himself. He had a chance to tell you who he was, and he gave you lies and asked you for money. We just spoke to the head of alumni relations at the University of San Diego, and they just confirmed no Sean Carter has ever in the history of the university attended that school. This man does not exist. He is a psychopathic scumbag fraud that's stealing your money and breaking your heart. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.